Uh, walk me through yesterday. We got, uh, we heard a couple. But I want to start with an interview uh, with Ned Carlstrom. You, we just bumped into you a, literally two minutes ago. You were telling me about your interactions with the suspect in this crazy shooting. Kind of just walk me through yesterday. Uh, you were at work. You've worked here for 26 years. Yes. Uh, walk me through yesterday. We got, uh, we heard a couple of people screaming that there was a shooter in the building, and it didn't sound real. The shots were real muffled. We thought it was a drill. We thought we were having a drill. And so we got up and started walking out of the building. And when we did, we passed by a gentleman that was carrying a gun in his hand, but it looked so theatrical because of the extended magazine and the suppressor that was on the end of it. I, he never looked at me. I mean, he glanced at me, but he never raised a gun at me to shoot me. But we found out later he was the actual shooter, and he was a co-worker. I knew him. I thought he was playing the part of an active shooter for our drill. And this was a real situation? Yeah, it was a real situation, a real gun. You know him. You've talked to him. You've had about 24 hours to process this, and I know that's not a lot of time. But does this completely shock you that this guy who you've talked to at work is allegedly responsible for all of these killings? Yes, I never would have thought it in in my whole life, but knowing him for the for the time that I've known him, I just can't picture him. One, I can't picture him with a gun, and two, I can't picture him doing any acts like that. Why don't you think he shot you? The only thing I can think is that maybe he viewed me as friendly because we've had conversations as we walked into the building together in the past, on occasion, we'd walk in together from the parking lot and we'd carry on small talk. I don't, I don't know. I can't, I can't say. He's a full of shit, that's why. Good now, WRAL's me. Joe Fisher has been in Virginia Beach since Friday night witnessing an outpouring of support. This growing memorial sits just outside the building where the attacks happened. Tonight, we've learned the suspect used two 45 caliber handguns, killing 12 people, including 11 city employees. They came to join hands on Virginia Beach's darkest day. It's pure evil. It's pure evil. And we ask today in Jesus' name. Strangers singing, praying, <laughs> leaning on each other. I thought it was really important to support the people who lost their family members. Yeah, Looking to make sense out of a situation that doesn't make any. Fucking rat. So today, we all grieve. We grieve. These are the faces, 12 lives taken. 40 FBI agents still combing through the city's public works building Saturday. We heard a pop pop. It's not like someone dropped a bookcase or... Edward Whedon was on the first floor. He saw Michelle Langer, an administrative assistant, Good. lying lifeless at the bottom of a staircase before running to safety. He lost seven friends. I saw him every day, joking around with him. With the voice you know, I saw him outside, me. had lunch, vending machine. I knew them. It's hard to believe. You know, the foundation of Virginia Beach has been rocked with this. It's Mayor Bobby Dyer bad. is also mourning the loss of a friend, Bert Jesus. Snelling, a contractor who officials say was in the building to get a permit. Genuine, great guy, great Ooh. family man. Drew Ooh. Langford is left thinking about his colleague, Tara Gallagher, an engineer who had a baby just months ago. It makes me angry when I think about this guy having the arrogance to do that. Damn. And the way I understand the whole thing went, and the way he went after the police, I mean, it's, it's not just arrogance, it's evil. These strangers, now forever linked by tragedy, reaching out for hope that the city they love will unite. I have hope, because I know that evil doesn't triumph in the end. Shut the fuck up, stupid fucking bitch. The FBI is expected to be inside the building over the next few days investigating. I did press the police chief today on a... Look at this fucking gobbler. Unfucking believe What a fucking piece of... He shouldn't be on TV lisping like that. Programming your little boys to talk like a little fucking burger boy. Look at him. Down to the gullet bone, this motherfucker. Possible motive. He told me it's still a little too early. Right now, detectives are looking into whether the suspect fired at random or if he had specific targets. I'm Joe Fisher, WREL News, Virginia Beach.
Craddock's family has posted a statement on their front door yeah. of their home. It reads in part, the family of Dwayne Craddock wishes to send our heartfelt condolences to the victims. We are grieving the loss of our loved one. At this time, we wish to focus on the victims and the lives lost during yesterday's yeah, tragic that event. That makes sense. Sure it does. Makes about as much fucking sense as this whole story. What a bunch of... Defense experts there. say the weapon reportedly used in... Shut the fuck up. Can't take it. Bunch of fucking crap. Oh shit. What a bunch of fucking 